Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6 presented by Sleep Number. I'm your host Mike Wobschall at TCO Performance Center in Egan. Super excited for the rookie minicamp coming up this weekend, but we gotta wait a couple days for practices. So in the meantime, let's work and answer some of your questions. First one comes from Phil in North Dakota. Is it wrong to be a bit worried after the picks? I would have liked to have seen at least one more offensive lineman taken. While I trust Coach Zimmer and Rick, I can't help but be nervous. Well, we did take a couple of offensive linemen, so that's something to be excited about. The Vikings did address that need, and remember, they also signed Tom Compton this offseason, and they have four starters from last season coming back, plus Rashad Hill, so plenty to work with there for the offensive staff. But no, it's normal to be nervous about your draft picks after the draft. There's a lot of unknown involved. The good news is we have a great coaching staff that's gonna coach these guys up. The second question comes from Chris. Why are the Vikings so gun-shy to pick offensive line help in the first round? Well, Chris, they're not gun-shy to do it. What they want to do is take the best available player when they're in the first round. And when the Vikings got on the clock at number 30, Mike Hughes was there. The Vikings loved Mike Hughes in the pre-draft process, and they pounced on him in the first round. Then they addressed the offensive line in the second round with Brian O'Neill. I think both of these guys can help the Vikings in 2018. Everyone expects Hughes will be able to do that, but don't sleep on O'Neill. That guy's got some athletic traits that can get him on the field soon. Question number three comes from Evan. I like the first two picks, but I really wanted us to pick Mo Hurst from Michigan with our fourth rounder. We ended up taking Jalen Holmes. Why do you think that is? Well, I think the Vikings really like the versatility that Jalen Holmes could present. He might have played on the edge or at defensive end a lot in college, but he projects to be able to rush from the inside at this level, especially if he can bulk up a little bit. Listening to Rick Spielman and Mike Zimmer after the draft, they sound excited about his potential to rush from both the inside and the outside. It will be fun to watch Andre Patterson and Robert Rodriguez, our defensive line coach, work with Holmes. The next question comes from Mike. Are the Vikings that much closer to the Eagles? And if so, how? Well, there's no doubt the road to NFC supremacy goes through Philadelphia. We will give them the respect for that. But this is a new season, and every team is 0-0. Zero and zero. Yes, the Vikings did get better. They got better at quarterback with Kirk Cousins, and they signed Sheldon Richardson, who's going to be a huge boon for the Vikings' defensive line. I like what they did in the draft, and there are some sneaky good other free agent signings and undrafted free agent signings that the team made this season. New offensive coordinator John D. Filippo will add some twists and turns to the offense, so I like how the Vikings are looking heading into a new season. The next question comes from Chris. I'm excited about the free agency moves, draft picks, and undrafted free agents, but I'm most pleased with the Terrence Newman re-signing. The ageless wonder, Terrence Newman, back for another season. This guy knows Mike Zimmer's defense as well as any player in the NFL, and he's going to be a great resource for the Vikings' young cornerbacks, including first-round pick Mike Hughes. Happy to have number 23 back. Our final question comes from Max in Sioux Falls. The best signing was undrafted free agent cornerback Holton Hill. This is a huge steal. Will he get a chance to fight for playing time? He is a monster. Well, Max, a lot of people thought Hill would be drafted coming out of Texas, but he wasn't. That's to the Vikings' benefit. They signed him an undrafted free agency, and the Vikings have some other impressive signings in undrafted free agency as well. For that full list of undrafted free agents joining our team, you can check that out at Vikings.com. Speaking of things to check out at Vikings.com, Rookie Minicamp is happening this weekend. We'll be here from beginning to end with interviews, highlights, photos, articles, and more. So stay tuned to Vikings.com for constant and complete coverage of the Vikings Rookie Minicamp this weekend and the rest of the offseason program going forward. Also, Pick 6 will be back next week, so send your questions in to the email address at the bottom of the screen, and we'll see you next week.